Good evening and welcome to this special election edition of 22 News at 11. I'm Barry Krieger. And I'm Ciara Speller. Three Western Massachusetts communities elected new mayors tonight and one incumbent held on to his office at City Hall. And no big surprise in Springfield where Mayor Dominic Sarno easily beat back a challenge by community activist Yolanda Cancel. Mayor Sarno easily held on to his seat by a dominating 3-1 to one margin of victory. Sarno has served as mayor for 11 years now. This will mark the start of a new four-year term. John View has won the race for Chicopee mayor. He defeated Chicopee Comp Vice Principal Joe Morissette with 57% of the vote. View is the Chicopee City Council president, and he will replace Mayor Richard Koss, who chose not to run for re-election. State Senator Don Hummison is leading in the fairly close race to be the next mayor of Westfield. Hummison is currently beating Police Captain Michael McCabe by just 97 votes. There are still absentee votes to be counted, and Hummison said he will not declare victory until it is official. McCabe told 22 News he will be asking for a recount. Hummison would replace Brian Sullivan, who chose not to seek a third term, and will be leaving office before next year. And Roxanne Wiedegartner is leading the race for Greenfield's mayor, but it could be a while before we get official results. The Greenfield City Clerk told 22 News they need to hand count votes from Precinct 8 after a ballot machine malfunction tonight. The current results are with eight out of the nine precincts reporting. Brickett Alice says zero votes because he was a write-in candidate and those votes are still being counted. Residents in nine communities also voted to fill seats on the city council. Springfield elected a new at-large city councilor. Here's a look at those results.
Elections were also held tonight to fill seats on school committees for several western Massachusetts cities and towns. And we have a look at those results for you as well.